swiftly walk over the western wave, spirit of night, out of the misty eastern cave, where all the long and lone daylight thou wovest dreams of joy and fear, which make thee terrible and dear, swift be thy flight. Wrap thy form in a mantle gray, star in water. Blind with thine hair the eyes of day, Kiss her until she be wearied out, Then wander o'er city and sea and land, Touching all with thine opiate wand, Come, long sought. When I arose and saw the dawn, I sighed for thee. When light rode high and the dew was gone, And noon lay heavy on flower and tree, and the weary day turns to his rest, lingering like an unloved guest, I sighed for thee. Thy brother death came and cried, Wouldst thou me? Thy sweet child sleep, the filmy-eyed, murmured like a noontide bee, Shall I nestle near thy side? Wouldst thou me? And I replied, No, not thee. Death will come when thou art dead, soon, too soon. Sleep will come when thou art fled. Of neither would I ask the boon I ask of thee, beloved night. Swift be thine approaching flight. Come soon, soon. Oh, yet we trust that somehow good will be the final goal of ill. To pangs of nature, sins of will, defects of doubt and taints of blood. That nothing walks with aimless feet, that not one life shall be destroyed, or cast as rubbish to the void when God hath made the pile complete. That not a worm is cloven in vain, that not a moth with vain desire is shriveled in a fruitless fire, or but subserves another's gain. Behold, we know not anything. I can but trust that good shall fall at last, far off at last to all, and every winter changed to spring. So runs my dream, but what am I? An infant crying in the night, an infant crying for the light, and with no language but a cry. Tears, idle tears, I know not what they mean. Tears from the depth of some divine despair rise in the heart and gather to the eyes in looking on the happy autumn fields and thinking of the days that are no more. Fresh as the first beam glittering on a sail that brings our friends up from the underworld, sad as the last which reddens over one that sinks with all we love below the verge. So sad, so fresh, the days that are no more. Ah, sad and strange, as in dark summer dawns the earliest pipe of half-awakened birds to dying ears, when, unto dying eyes, the casement slowly grows a glimmering square. So sad, so strange, the days that are no more. Dear as remembered kisses after death, and sweet as those by hopeless fancy feigned on lips that are for others, deep as love, Deep as first love, and wild with all regret. Oh, death in life, the days that are. 